what's going on guys welcome to another video and as you can see it's pretty cold here luckily the mercedes has got that ceramic coating on so it's nicely protected the porsche is back on the ground covered up unfortunately it's still not running so we're going to jump straight into this video that was recorded back in october and the first part of the video we're going to get the wiring loom in and we're going to try and get the engine running um, and then i'll pick it up after we've uh, we've got to a certain point and you'll know what that certain point is so yeah let's just run the video let's get on with it okay so to get the engine up and running we need to first of all put the engine or a new back in so i'll feed it through back into the boot connecting it to the ecu and then connect all the auxiliaries back up so once the wiring looms all back in place we then start refitting the inlet manifolds Okay, once the inlet manifolds are fitted, I then fit the replacement fuel rails. Fuel rails fitted, we then move on and sort the vacuum pipes out. This was quite tricky because I think I've got too many vacuum pipes, but we'll find out when we start the car. So there we are, you can see the top end of the engine is now built back up, the intake went back on okay. Yes, we still need to put the um, airbox in and the pipe that goes from the airbox uh, back on but other than that I'm quite happy that we've built the top end of the engine back up and the wiring loom back in place ready for us to try and crank over the engine and see whether or not we can get it to start so yeah let's get on let's do that next so there we are the engine is definitely not happening. Just after I stopped filming, the engine actually locked. We said it 180 degrees back uh, the opposite way and it would lock again, and I mean properly locked. Um, so basically we've got bent valves. So in the second part of the video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna investigate um, to see which valves are bent. I'm pretty certain it's on the, the driver's side, so it's bank one to three. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take the top end of the engine off in the second part. Uh, like the intakes again and, and investigate that and then maybe drop the heads off um, and see where we, uh, we where we get to now because of the nature of where the car is um, I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to film the entire process of taking the head off um, we'll have to wait and see let's just jump into it and find out what's wrong with this engine and as you can see the engine is back in bits and also we have bent valves so these valves here we think are bent so i've got to take either the engine out or the head off this side of the engine so i'm not sure what we're going to do yet i'm still contemplating because it's a lot of work this car just seems to be a demon car at the moment we did try and turn it over by hand before when we put it all back together but it just um yeah it just stops so it seems like that the uh, the valves are hitting the pistons so yeah we're going to get on pull this engine out or the head off i haven't decided yet we'll find out in the next part of the video so i went with the choice of leaving the engine in and removing the head from the engine so start by dismantling the oil pump at the back of the engine and then removing the core packs so we can drop the cam cover off that's why she's not running okay so it's obvious what's happened chain tension has failed chains jumped or the sprockets jumped on the chain causing pistons to hit the valves so I then want to remove the cams so I take the chain runner off and then drop the sprocket off the exhaust cam meaning I can drop the exhaust cam out without worrying about taking the chain out I can then move to the inlet cam and drop that out because I'll have enough slack and then we can drop the head off to see what the damage is So the head's off and as you can see, well, we've got a broken valve here, which is, <laughs> I've never ever broken a valve in a head in my life. I've bent valves, but I've never actually snapped a valve like that. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I mean, this head is ready for the scrapyard. Um, I could take the valves out, get it all skimmed, but it's probably cheaper for me to buy a head that's already built up and fit it so we found out what the problem is also if we look down here this adjuster here there's no piston in it 
so there's no way that that was um, gonna adjust the chain so the chain was obviously loose these are things that I should have checked before trying to start the uh, the Porsche you learn by your mistakes but you wouldn't think that somebody would put a chain piston adjuster in broken you just wouldn't I don't know who would do that so so this Porsche is fighting me every which way it can every step of the the process trying to get this car back on the road has always been something that stopped me and this is kind of major with every single like valve bent in that head but luckily I've sourced another head it's got valves in it it just needs skimming and pressure testing and the guy reassures me that it came off a running car and they're they're fine there's no issues uh, with the valves or the head so fingers crossed within the next couple of weeks we'll have that back I've ordered all the parts to get the engine rebuilt, so we've just got to wait for them to come. And again, this is quite exciting. It's not boring. It's not going back together straight forward. And I think once we get the car up and running, that's when the fun will start. So fingers crossed, this is the last hurdle. Now, guys, if you like what you see, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn the notification on, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment section below. There is so much more to come with the Porsche and also with the Mercedes. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.